Good morning and welcome to another boating tips video. I'm Kurt Hartlieb with Wallstrom Marine. Today we're going to talk about how to properly tie up your boat in a slip. Right now we're in our basin in Harbor Springs. We're on a floating dock and we're looking at a new 26 foot Pursuit S268. Uh, this is going to be a, an example of how we're going to tie up the boat in this particular dock. Um, in these docks, we are able to tie off to both sides. So we can do two stern lines, two bow lines, and a spring line. Uh, your uh, slip may be different, but uh, for this video, we're going to talk about the floating dock. First line we're going to talk about is the most important, and that is the spring line. That's this line going forward to the spring cleat. That should be the first line onto the boat, the last line off of the boat. Uh, it acts as a brake. So when you're coming into the dock, you wanna get this one on because that'll keep the boat from moving forward into the dock. So this is a, a real important one. Uh, sometimes you could have two spring lines, one forward leading, one aft leading. Uh, in this case, we don't really need uh, two. One is good enough here. We were able to put on a port and starboard stern line on, in this slip to keep the back of the boat from moving around. A lot of floating docks will, will not have the ability to tie both sides of the boat. Uh, if that were to be the case, we'd want to hang some fenders on the dock right in this area to keep the boat from banging into the dock. And now we're up at the bow. We have a port and a starboard bow line. The port bow is holding the boat uh, close to the dock. The starboard bow is pulling the boat away from the dock. So these two cancel each other out and the boat can be tight um, in, in the bow area. This is, again, a floating dock, so we can make all of our lines tight. We don't have to adjust for tide um, or wave action. So now we've turned the boat around and we've gone stern in. Uh, spring line, still doing the same thing. It's keeping the boat from moving backwards into the dock. We still have a port and starboard bow, and we still have two sterns. If I'm gonna leave for the day, I wanna check to make sure that any wind or wave action is not gonna ram the boat into the dock. So if I check the bow, it's tight. If I go back and I want to check the stern, there's a little bit of swing in the stern and I can see that it would, it would bump into the dock. So that's why I put out a fender. Um, our particular docks here with outboards, uh, bow in is maybe a little bit more preferred. Just depends on where the cleats are on your boat and the cleats are on the dock will sort of determine the best way to tie it up. Thank you for watching another boating tips video on how to properly tie up your boat. I'm Kurt Hartley with Wallstrom Marine. 